fishbowl and starship. Everyone is in listen-only mode. We do have a big group today, so we are going to save questions for the end. We're going to go through a few PowerPoint slides discussing our products and solutions, and then we're going to go into a demo of the product integration, and then please ask questions throughout the presentation as they come up, and we will go ahead and address them at the end. So we have a few presentation speakers here today. Denise is going to speak about her company, EDS Associates, and Mary Bernard is here as their account manager to show the integration between Fishbowl, Starship, and QuickBooks. The technologies, this is Kathy Graham speaking, and I have Melissa Kale on the line who will be discussing and demoing the ship, uh, Starship integration with Fishbowl and QuickBooks. And we have a special guest, Vardon, with Terabyte Solutions. Terabyte's the integration specialist that uh, works with Fishbowl and QuickBooks, and they developed the solution that integrates Starship and Fishbowl. So he'll be available for any questions you have at the end. So here's our agenda today. We're going to move at a pretty good pace. We are going to introduce EDS Associates. They are a longtime partner of mine. I, I worked it into it for four years. And they were the best partner I had, and I know they're the top partner for Intuit at this time in the nation. They work with QuickBooks and Fishbowl, among a number of other products and services. I'm going to get let Denise get started talking about her company and how they can help you. Melissa is going to go into the Starship discussion and who V Technologies is and how we can help you with our shipping solutions. So we're going to get into the demo and Q&A. So with that, Denise, I'm going to turn this over to you and let's get started. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Kathy, and thank you everyone for attending. Good afternoon, and thank you for joining us today. Welcome to Pick, Pack, and Ship for QuickBooks. My name is Denise Loder-Cook, and I am the President and CEO of EBS Associates. EBS Associates is a nationally recognized business providing business consulting and coaching services, reoccurring accounting and payroll and project accounting services, data migrations and cleanup services, as well as software sales setup training and support. We are an Intuit Premier Reseller, Fishbowl Preferred Reseller, as well as a third-party Intuit software application solution provider. I would like to also introduce you to Mary Bernhardt with EDS Associates. She was named here as a, an account manager, but she's actually also the vice president of EDS Associates. Mary is an advanced QuickBooks Pro Advisor and certified Fishbowl Consultant. Mary will demonstrate the integration between Fishbowl Inventory and QuickBooks. And then Melissa, I'm going to turn it over to you now. Thanks, Denise. Uh, this is Melissa Kale of V-Technologies. I um, just wanted to give you a brief overview of VTech. We've actually been in the shipping integration business since 1989, so over 25 years now. We have over 10,000 customers using our programs right now, which include uh, ShipGear and Starship. And we also have about 6,000 customers itself just on QuickBooks alone. Um, we do work with the QuickBooks desktop uh, software, Pro Premier and Enterprise. Our um, ShipGear solution works with all three flavors. And then our uh, Starship solution works with not only Fishbowl, but with the QuickBooks Enterprise solutions. And a lot of you may be familiar with us today um, as ShipGear customers. Um, Starship is our multi-carrier uh, shipping software. We work with a variety of popular ERP integrations, such as QuickBooks, Fishbowl. We also work with the Sage systems. And the uh, multi-carrier, multi-mode piece of our software basically means we can ship a uh, variety of carriers, parcel, freight, or regional carriers. So you can see shipping rates side by side with LPL and parcel carriers. We also let you use uh, custom business rules for shipping charges or ship via rules. What that means is you have the ability to automatically select certain carriers or certain shipping rates and bill your customers accordingly. We also work with some uh, pick, pack, ship type of solutions, WMS integration, 
We have really great partnerships with some EDI integration. If your customers have any trading partners that they want to connect over with that uh, require certain information through EDI transactions. So you'll see here um, we do have a breakdown of Shipgear to Starship. Um, some of you may be using Shipgear already or you may be using Starship. You may be familiar with Shipgear. That's our entry level solution. Primarily we um, have that for customers that may use just one carrier. What that is, is is a bridge between either uh, the post office, which is one of our latest features inside of Shipgear. We have um, a link over to Indicia Professional. And uh, the old standards of UPS and FedEx were a bridge right over to that carrier system there. So we'll build the link right from your ERP or accounting system right into the carrier software. We'll also update with tracking and shipping back into your carrier, or I'm sorry, your uh, accounting system. And one of the major differences of Shipgear to Starship is the type of information that comes over. Shipgear just takes the header information over, so information like uh, address info, header type information such as account number field, ship via types. We'll grab those automatically. And we do work with a variety of different accounting systems for Shipgear, such as um, the QuickBooks uh, line, Sage 50 line, also work with Sage 100. Microsoft and the McCullough systems. We offer add-ons to the base license uh, like freight rules or e-notify that gives you more control of what gets sent over to your customers. Um, the custom freight rules will let you update QuickBooks, for example, with um, either a flat rate, a discounted rate, or no rate based on shipping rules that you've defined. And e-notify is a branded email that will go out to your customers with tracking information, other shipping info, and you have complete control of the verbiage and the template that uh, goes to the customers. So Starship really steps it up. We have the ability to ship uh, multi-carrier. So for example, you wanted to rate shop between UPS, FedEx, and the post office. It's really easy to just bring that right into one user interface and side by side you're going to see your shipping charges there. You can rate shop, grab the quickest one, you ship via rules to maybe grab the cheapest way within a certain amount of time, or you can always have it default to certain carrier types based on certain customers. You can also save some money with third-party parcel insurance. You could load that right into Starship. Um, like I said, we have EDI partnerships with, um, for example, True Commerce or Redtail. We have uh, partnerships with those. Uh, products so we can bring over shipping information right into their um, transaction managers to send over EDI information to the trading partners. And uh, with Starship, this is the only uh, software we have that does work with the Fishbowl integration system. And there's a lot more carriers you can choose from as you can see in this list below. Um, OnTrack and Speedy are two regional carriers that you can use to also save money. They deliver uh, next day services with ground pricing. And then we have about a dozen of the LTL carriers that we work with. So you have a lot of ways to choose from different carriers. You have a lot of options there. And the nice feature of Starship over ship gear is the ability to grab not only that order header information, but we can grab line items. So any line item details that you have indicated inside of Fishbowl or QuickBooks or the other accounting systems that we work with, we're able to bring that information over to quickly create documentation, packing slips, bill of lading if you're doing the LTL shipping. And then uh, here's some other of our systems that we work with. So if you um, have any other accounting systems that you work with or are familiar with these, we have about uh, a handful to a dozen of those that we work with. And then we also offer standard inside uh, Starship is our freight rules and the notify systems. Those come right with your software purchase and you're able to create freight rules based on customer types and the same thing with branded email notifications. Those will go out. When uh, the shipment goes out, you can set up a schedule for when uh, those orders get updated with the tracking info through that e-notify system and you can set different templates for different customers. So like I mentioned before, we give you a lot of choice in carriers that we work with. We have a lot of modules um, for all the different carriers. And we have um, the post office, which is now available. If you're a V Technologies customer, we have discount postage through Indicia. 
So just by being a uh, B Technologies customer, you're able to receive discounted rates right inside your Starship software. So you'll be able to see different shipping rates uh, against the big carriers like UPS and FedEx. So you'll be able to uh, see a significant savings when you're using the post office now. And by using the post office, you also see some consolidators, um, like a domestic consolidator, for example, would be Mail Innovations by UPS, which is a hybrid service of UPS and the post office together. DHL also has a consolidator that um, does their global mail. We also have access to the Indicia Insurance. If you send out return labels, we have uh, pay and use return labels available now where you don't get dinged on the postage until they use that return label. So overall, you're going to see a big cost savings by using the post office. And this is especially in light of the recent dimensional changes that UPS and FedEx have done this year, starting in January. Um, now all customers are required to add dimensions into their uh, carrier software or into Starship so they see true rates. So you'll see here um, if you have a box that's 12 by 8 by 8, the actual weight is 1 pound, but the way the dimensional rate breaks down is to 5 pounds. So by using the post office, you're going to see a bit of a savings here because the actual weight for ground used to be $7.56. Now the dimensional rate has broken down into $9.82. So you'll see um, the average cost has been almost 30%. And if you're doing a lot of shipments a day, you'll see almost $2,300 of your monthly impact, where if you were using UP, uh, the USPS priority mail price, you'd see that was only $5.35. So this is um, Kathy. I think you were going to go from here. And yes. Great. Thanks, Martha. Thanks, Denise. Thank you. So we're going to jump into the demonstration right now. I'm going to turn the control over to Melissa so she can get her demonstration set up. But the general workflow that we're going to show here is how an order flows through Fishbowl and over to the warehouse for pick, pack, and shipping. And then we're going to go and see how it flows through Starship for automated shipping and tracking. And then back to Fishbowl with the updated shipping information. And then on over to QuickBooks for the invoice at the end of the transaction populated with the shipping information. So at this time, Melissa, I'm going to turn this over to you and Mary, and uh, let's see what you've got. Awesome. Thanks, Kathy. Mary, I, I pass it over to you also if you have a chance to get that going. Okay. Thank you. So we're going to start with the, the fishbowl side, and I just wanted to go through a few things to get everybody kind of give you some general information. The way that fishbowl works is that we buy parts, we sell products, and what we have on hand is inventory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some sales orders so that we can show how the tracking numbers will get imported into tracking and then go in to QuickBooks. So we go to the sales module, we go to sales order, and then we hit new. And then we click in our box and we're going to call up our customer, which is Cadillac Bike Shop. And then we're going to go ahead and add some items. So we put in our quantity and then you can either type in your product by des description or by item code. And I have some item codes that we're going to use. And then I hit enter and then I add a few more items. And then this will also help Melissa show us how she can do separate cartons and different boxes and weights and everything for our shipping. So that's how we do one order. We're going to go ahead and issue it. And then we're going to go ahead and start a new order. So we just hit new. And we go ahead and go to customers. And now we're going to do Matt's Bike Shop. 
and we're going to add in some quantities in our parts. And then we're going to go ahead and add in one more for us so that we can actually see all the different components that we can do with our packaging. So then we go ahead and we hit Issue. And then we'll take it to, to our pick, where we're now going to pick the products that we're going to ship. So then I'm going to come down to my orders, and I'm going to find my Okay, I knew they were here. I think you clicked on the shipping piece. There you go. Okay, so here's my orders. I double click on them and I go ahead and hit start. And I can pick a, a list right now, so I'm just going to preview it so everyone can kind of see what it looks like. be coming up. There we go. And so this is where what our pick ticket would look like. So if we had scanners and and we're using them in the warehouse, then we could do everything by our, our barcode. So I'll open this just up a little bit so everyone can see what it kind of looks like. And then it shows our number, who our customer, and then the products that we put on our order and where the locations are and where the destinations are. So that's what the pick ticket would look like. So then we go ahead and we finish it. And now we have to select our serial numbers for our products that we're going to put on our order. Hit finish. And that one's ready to go. And then we're going to go to our next one. And we're going to go ahead and start our pick on here. I'll go ahead and say no thank you at this time since we already saw that. And then we'll go ahead and hit finish. And now Melissa will take it over and show us how we do the tracking. Thanks, Mary. So basically after Mary has done the sales order and picking, this has moved everything over into the shipping piece of Fishbowl. So what I'll do is I'll pick one of the ones that uh, Mary set up for me here. So I'll do this particular shipment. So you'll see here that there are um, two items or two item types in one cart in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add another box so we have those into two different cartons. And I'm just going to drag one of the items into the carton. And that way we have two different boxes. Um, one is containing the two mountain bikes and the other two uh, speed chains are in the second carton. What I'm going to do is just save that. And this is going to be going um, carrier type is UPS Next Day Air. And what I'm going to do is now go into Starship. This particular order is ready to ship out now. So you'll see here this is our Starship shipping screen. The only thing that you need to do here is you can scan in that barcode or you can punch in the shipment number and hit the Enter key. And what this is doing is calling over to Fishbowl and grabbing over our shipping details. So you'll see this pane is really useful here. This gives you a quick preview of what's happening on the shipment. So you'll see the transportation type has automatically come over for me. Um, my sender address information is here. So if you have multiple sender addresses, you can set those up to map over. This is especially helpful if you do any drop shipping. And then you'll see also that the recipient information has come over. The address has been verified by Starship. So you'll see when I hover over this checkbox here, it means it's been validated. And you'll also see down below that it's come through as a commercial uh, type of address. 
And the nice thing on having this integrated right to fishbowl is we're able to pull over um, the line item details. So you'll see below that uh, these have come over packed as I pack them inside in fishbowl. Um, if you click on here, you'll see some line item details. And Starship does have its own database also that's really useful to store additional information you may not have room for, either in QuickBooks if you're pulling right out of QuickBooks or if you're pulling out of Fishbowl. So you'll um, be able to quickly produce bill of lading or any international paperwork that you need to have for those types of shipments. So you'll see some information here, um, like the item type, um, item description, the weight and the value has all come over right out of Fishbowl. Uh, when you click on the packaging, that brings you over to the packaging tab in Starship. So you'll see that this has come over as the custom packaging. We've also brought over the build weight and um, also included the package contents. There is additional information on the recipient tab if you store their account numbers inside of Starship. We also have like our own address book here that you can store additional information in. And if you have EDI integration turned on, um, if you have that turned on, you'll see that this has been checked off. If you were uh, needing that additional EDI integration sent over to, for example, uh, True Commerce is one of our partners, High Jump. And you're also able to rate shop against carriers you have on your license. What I've done for this particular shipment is grabbed it based on the ship via type inside of Fishbowl. But you're also able to just run a rate shop scenario here. This will look at all the different rates that you have based on the carriers on your license. So what this is doing here is um, this is giving me some information on um, if some services aren't available, they'll let us know. And then this will give me information on charges and delivery information. You can sort by list versus contract rates. So if you have special rates through the carriers like UPS and FedEx, they have negotiated rates. You can set it to either list or contract. And these columns are sortable or you can always set up ship via rules that will automatically grab certain carrier types or certain um, carrier uh, cheapest way, fastest way. We can do it that way automatically for you also. So basically all that's left to do is click the ship process button. We're going to keep the carrier the same. So I'm not going to change the carrier type on here. Everything has been filled out for us automatically. And what this is doing is producing the labels. These will uh, be printed out of either a thermal printer if you have that enabled. We can also print on a re regular uh, laser 8.5 by 11 type of paper. So one label will print for each package. We also have the ability to um, print a packing list at this time also. You'll see here I've added my logo here. You can add verbiage down at the bottom if you wanted to do like a coupon code. Um, that way you have repeat customers. And what this has also done is gone back into Fishbowl and updated the cartons with some tracking and shipping. So let me just get into that. You'll see Carton 1 has the tracking information here. And then you'll also see that the cost has been updated. And Carton 2 has also contained the cost. I'd also like to mention that um, Fishbowl Gurus, uh, Vardan over there, um, they created the interface for us. Um, and he has the ability to take this even further. Um, Starship's really customizable. So Vardan, I don't know if you wanted to speak real quickly to that before I pass it over to Mary for her to do the export back into QuickBooks. Sure. Um, one of the most powerful features of Starship is that all of the data that is in Fishbowl is available for reading in Starship. So for example, if you need to add a different variety of custom fields into your particular shipment, and even onto the shipping labels, we can do that. We can also customize what kind of write back you have. So if you have a write back for certain customers where you actually, where uh, they are not charged for the shipping, or if the customer is charged a certain fixed amount of cost or any other rule, we can implement that with Starship as well. Okay, go ahead, uh, Mary. All right, thanks, Fardin. Um, I just wanted to point out one other thing before I pass it over to Mary. Um, we also have what's called our Starship dashboard. This gives you also a really quick view of tracking information. This is outside of Fishbowl. So if you have someone that doesn't have access to a Fishbowl seat or even to a Starship seat, they're able to view tracking information right in here. You're able to run reports through here also. So if you wanted to see a breakdown of shipping charges, you can do that based on applied freight. You can do that um, based on different carriers. 
and also your customers will receive tracking info through our eNotify, um, our branded email. So they'll also receive tracking information through our email uh, system. So they do have lots of ways to see their tracking and shipping information. So that's our oh. dashboard. So um, Melissa, just to add to that with the dashboard, because I just, I'm just so amazed that that functionality is available without tying up a user license. Um, for QuickBooks customers, Fishbowl customers, or Starship, you don't need a license to use this dashboard. So this is a web-based portal where from a customer standpoint, a service standpoint, if uh, someone calls in, they might not know the order number or the tracking number to search by, but if someone's using this dashboard, you can also use things like the purchase order to search by. And I, I just think that's so powerful. I just wanted to point that piece out, that it doesn't require a software license to access this information. And it, it, from a customer standpoint, um, POs are also one way you can search by um, this information. That's right. Thank so you, you can search by document key here, um, which is the order number, shipment number. And thank you, Kathy, for pointing that out. And you can see additional information like the line items that have gone against this particular shipment and a breakdown of the charges. And you can also see the email notification message that has been tied to this particular shipment. Well, having spent some time in customer service in, in my day, this is the stuff that really excites me. So thanks for showing that off. Thanks. So Mary, I'm just going to mark this shipped for you. And you're good to go. Okay, so now I'm going to take it into QuickBooks so we can see how it comes over into our accounting. So I go to our accounting feature in Fishbowl, and I'm going to go ahead and do the export. And then this will tell us when our export is complete and everything has gone over into our QuickBooks file. And then the status will show us on for the site on the side where where we're at. And so it's exporting our invoices. And then it says done. So we hit OK. And now we can go into our QuickBooks file. And since this demo file has used dates that are in the future, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the sales report for today so that I can show you what we did. So here is our order we brought, brought over. It's turned into an invoice now. And when we open it up, we'll be able to see all the information, our tracking, and everything comes over right into to QuickBooks. And so it also gives you your fishbowl sales order number. And we've also made the invoice number, the sales order number, for easy tracking in both systems and even into Starship so that you'll have multiple ways to get to your information without having to search a lot of details. So the fishbowl mapping has all come through this configuration that you set up when you first start to do your integration, which is a really easy way to map everything. And I'll just show you real quick on how this all maps together. So these are your default accounts that you set up from the very beginning from your chart of accounts from, from your QuickBooks. And then this will be how your accounts and all the information will come over and post. All right, that's our demo. So it's back to you, Kathy. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Melissa. I always learn a few things when I get to see you guys show off this exciting functionality, so thank you. Let's see, we're going to switch back over. That's the one. So I hope this presentation sh uh, gave you all an idea of how the three products interact with each other in a seamless, integrated manner. We have the, the flow from Fishbowl Starship back to Fishbowl and on over to QuickBooks. So I think you guys showed that real nicely with the demonstration. So Vardan, you had a few minutes to, to speak about your integration. I just wanted to let the audience know 
that uh, at terabyte, or in other words, you're known as terabyte and also fishbowl gurus, because you do work so much with fishbowl um, from when it comes to custom reporting, business intelligence, working with QuickBooks customers and fishbowl in that manner. And then also, you're, you're known as a fishbowl integration specialist. Um, could you uh, speak a few words about your company and some of the services you provide? Sure. Uh, one point that I did want to bring up, um, the Starship integration with Fishbowl actually does not require of use of an extra Fishbowl license. So one of the strongest points of this integration is that uh, you can run Starship and as long as you're on the same network as the Fishbowl server, you actually don't even have to have Fishbowl clients set up on that workstation. Um, regarding Terabyte solutions, we specialize in um, the Fishbowl and the QuickBooks world. Um, my area particularly is custom reporting, business intelligence, uh, getting data from one place to another, uh, EDI integrations, uh, integrations with Salesforce, and so on. Um, and if you have any interest in any of those areas, please let us know. And uh, that's it. I'm done. Go ahead and take over. Thank you. So I'm going to launch a few polling slides. And because we have a, a good amount of Starship and ship your customers on the line, I'm going to ask you after the first few questions to stay on the line to um, help us out with a few V Technologies customer related questions. And it has to do with our uh, expansion and our planned expansion into um, the, the Brazil and Mexican markets. So if you can all stay on the line and participate with the polls, that would be great. I'm going to um, first check to see what questions we have, and then we can ask our experts. OK. Just reading so, through Kathy. some questions. Yes, Kathy, um, I have the questions up, and I can just announce them real quick. This is Adrian. I work oh, with ahead. Kathy at V Technologies. Uh, does the tracking number show on the fishbowl invoice in addition to appearing in the fishbowl shipping record? Thank you, Joan, for that question. Hi, this is Melissa at VTech. Um, we will send back the tracking info right into the fishbowl carton information. Um, I think you can get that back into QuickBooks, obviously, as we showed you. But I think you can also um, view that right in your fishbowl history. Um, maybe one of the fishbowl ladies has more information on that. Right, and you can see it. Um, not only can you see it, but you can also advance search for it. So if a customer called in and just had the tracking number, you would be able to find that in fishbowl. And yes, it's also into your QuickBooks software, so you will be able to search that in the memo field. So those are both available and give you a good place to search. And um, Jeanette, oh, oh, go ahead, Verdan. Can, can I finish this? Uh, by default, Fishbowl has the tracking number show up on the packing list. Uh, shipping invoice doesn't have the tracking number most of the time, but we can add it uh, relatively easily. So if you want the tracking number to show up on your invoice, we can do that as well. And Jeanette, thank you so much for your interest. It, uh, you say that you had missed the meeting and that you would like a link to the recording. We're going to be sending out a follow-up email to everyone who registered and attended the webinar with the recording uh, link. So it will go right over to YouTube where you can watch the recording. And it will also have all the contact information of everyone involved. So you'll be able to know who to reach out to directly from that follow-up email. And we have another question from Mindy. Thank you so much, Mindy. What is, what is, what if, it's, it looks like you put is, but what if we have independent trucking brokers that track or cost, can it be added in manually? Sounds like a question for me. Um, yes, we do have um, custom carriers that you can add to Starship, which will produce the bill of lading or shipping labels. And then um, thank you, Monty, for your uh, request. We will have somebody call Mr. Heller. 
at uh, the number you provided. Thank you so much for your interest. And then Doreen, thank you for your question. We use ShipGear with QuickBooks now. Would Starship replace ShipGear? What are the advantages, disadvantages? And Melissa, if you could just run through those real quick. Sure. Uh, yes, this would replace your ShipGear software, would replace whatever carrier systems that you're currently linking ShipGear with. So if you have UPS WorldShip or FedEx Ship Manager, for example, uh, Starship is an all-in-one system. So the benefits there are seeing all your rates side by side into one interface, all your history is inside one place, and you're able to ship multiple types of carriers like LTL or Parcel. And then we're able to grab um, item information and update Fishbowl or QuickBooks with tracking and shipping. And Melissa, how does it work if you need to use a carrier that is not integrated? Thank you, Mindy. Um, that would be one of our add-on modules um, called our bill of lading module or your user definable option. You would be able to create your own labels and everything right inside of our interface. And we are very interested, what does a typ typical implementation look like and how do we proceed? I'm assuming this is a Starship uh, question. I think it's for the group. So, the so first um, part would oh, go ahead. The first part of an integration would be if you have QuickBooks or you don't have QuickBooks. So the first place would be is to set up your QuickBooks and get your chart of account set up. And then the next step would be to get your um, fishbowl up and going. And so Vardan, I don't know if you have some other information you'd like to share as well. Uh, the integration between Fishbowl and Starship is very straightforward. Once you install Starship, all you have to do is set up an ODBC connection. And we have guides, and Starship has the guides in that. So um, once you have that done, uh, the rest is just a couple of clicks away, and it's all set. And we do have a question. Uh, Melissa, I think that you'd be a good uh, person to answer this question. What is EDI? Thank you, Bonnie. Um, EDI is a way of transferring information from trading partners like Walmart or Home Depot. They require certain types of information to get transmitted electronically over. So we have the ability to take not only um, some tracking information and other shipping info, we have the ability to grab that information, send that over to True Commerce, who is one of our partners. Um, they get it sent to their transaction manager, and then they're able to create invoices with that information. So the trading partners have um, what's called an advanced ship notification. They'll have the ability to see that type of information or type of uh, items that are coming through. So it's used for you know the big box stores that need to have certain information ahead of time. And this will be produced on the labels and the documentation that they receive. So those big box retailers are like uh, Home Depot, Target, Walmart, um, large retailers who require their vendors that supply them to um, electronically transmit documents so that things can be automated Correct, Melissa? That's correct. Um, OK, and Bridget, thank you so much for your question. If I have QuickBooks Enterprise Solutions Manufacturing and Wholesale 15, how would Fishbowl be useful to me? So Fishbowl would take your manufacturing and your inventory to the next level where you can do staging, you can track lot and serial numbers, you can track FIFO. So um, QuickBooks is all average costing, so it gives you more of whether you can want to do standard costing and inventory or whether you want to do a FIFO. It also does expiration dates. It will also be able to automate your manufacturing floor by using scanners and the barcodes on the work orders and the bill of materials. It will also auto-generate manufacturing orders once you put a sales order and you don't have enough available stock. So it kind of is more of an automation and a more robust system that gives you more opportunities to expand and grow your business without having to add more people to enter in paperwork. And also a lot of the downloads from websites and everything can also be customed 
into Fishbowl so there isn't data entry. And Vardan, do you want to talk about those types of integrations with the web stores? Uh, yes, uh, we can do a variety of web stores with integrations such as Solution, uh, Shopify, and um, CRMs such as Salesforce and other types of integrations. It uh, really does depend on what you need. And you can let us know when we can uh, help you along. And we have quite a, a, well, we have a few more questions. And I know that we're 10 minutes over the hour. And we really appreciate everybody spending this hour with us. Um, I'm going to go ahead and continue to read off the questions. And we just appreciate everybody um, hanging in there with us if you can. But if you can't, we totally understand. And you will get a follow-up email with everybody's contact information. Can you use Starship with Fishbowl? Fishbowl, or without Fishbowl, sorry. Uh, Mindy, thank you so much. Yes, you can uh, connect Starship to a variety of different packages. Um, but if you are a QuickBooks user, yes. Uh, as long as you're on QuickBooks Enterprise, you can use Starship without the Fishbowl piece. And does Starship support the new UPS services, such as Access Point? Thank you, Alex. Um, that one I'm not familiar with, so I'd have to get back to you on that. And then I utilize the QuickBooks Sales Order Fulfillment Worksheet to show me all of our orders and the inventory available to fill orders. Does Fishbowl have a similar program? Thank you, Sam. Um, yes, they do. And also, you can customize your, desk, your dashboard so that everyone who has certain responsibilities within the warehouse can actually see just what pertains to that position. So you can see what sales orders you have open, what's low on inventory. You can also do minimum and maximums in your inventory schedule so that it will do auto POs for you when you're low. So there's a lot of features to help you manage that inventory and keep up with your quantities. And Alex, thank you for your question. Also services like Mail Innovation and SurePost. So I think that is an add-on to the question for you, Melissa. Does Starship support new UPS services such as Access Point? So uh, Alex is also adding on Mail Innovation and SurePost. So I didn't know if you had any additional information on those two. We do support UPS SurePost. And then uh, the Mail Innovations can be done through Indicia. And Bridget, thank you again for your question. Can I create a sales order in QuickBooks and integrate it into Fishbowl instead of creating it in Fishbowl first? No, you always have to start. Once your inventory has been taken over by Fishbowl, you have to start everything to do with inventory in your Fishbowl before it goes to QuickBooks. And Doreen, thank you so much for your question. Where do we get pricing information? I'd be happy if you're interested in Starship. I can definitely reach out to you with pricing. I'm sure the other ladies in Bardan can help you with that also. Kelly, you want to tell them how we can learn more about pricing on Fishbowl and QuickBooks, please? Yep, if you are interested in pricing on Fishbowl and QuickBooks, you can reach out to EBS Associates, and we'd be happy to give that to you and talk to you about the different options. So I'm going to go ahead and let uh, Kathy close it out. Oh, there is one more question. Uh, John, we run QBES 15.0 for manufacturing and warehouse. Would fishbowl integration eliminate the painful process of creating packing slips in QB and manually converting packing slips to invoices in QB? Yes, it would eliminate that process. So you can actually when you're in, enter your sales orders into Fishbowl, you, when you, once you print them out, you can start using the barcoding to pick, pack, and ship, um, receive inventory in. So it becomes a lot more automated and a lot more user-friendly than the steps that you have to take when you're in going through QuickBooks. And I think that's all the questions that we have. Oh, we have another one from Sam. Thank you, Sam. Does Fishbowl allow for third-party barcoding software to pull data from custom barcoding uh, from custom barcodes for my products? I can answer that think, question. Yeah. Okay. So uh, depends on the barcoding software. 
but a lot of those softwares are available too that they can actually pull data from Fishbowl. Now, if you want Fishbowl to pull data from those um, software, we can talk about how we can interpret that as well. Yes, that it is possible to do that. And you're welcome, Sam. Thank you for that question. Uh, and I think that does it for the questions so far. Um, Kathy, did you want to go ahead and take it from here to, to close out the meeting? Sure, and we did a lot for a full 60 minutes, and so there is still 15 more minutes. We're not trying to rush anybody off for any remaining questions. We are, we're happy to stay on the line for the next 15 minutes to address any last-minute questions. But as far as the follow-up plan goes, the reason we all brought you here together today is hopefully you learned something about how you can enhance your QuickBooks, your fishbowl, and or your shipping solutions, whether you are an existing ship gear or Starship customer with B technology. So we really appreciate your time today. We are going to hang on the line for the next 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes or so in case any of you have any follow-up questions. But our plan is to follow up with you. We will have a follow-up email for all of those of you who did attend today, and also for any uh, coworkers you've had that did not attend. We will be sending a recording of this session, and we plan to have future sessions of this nature. So please stay tuned for that. Uh, EBS is, again, the premier and leading QuickBooks reseller. Uh, they're part of a, a very exclusive partner program with Intuit. They've been doing this for a very long time. They have a huge team of experts that can help you not only, not only with any QuickBooks service and training that you have or may require within your company, but also they are fishbowl resellers. So if you hear from EBS and you've expressed interest, please keep them in mind as a resource for any and all things QuickBooks and Fishbowl. And the reason we have uh, Terabyte, the Fishbowl uh, guru is on the phone with Vardan is because he is our integration specialist, the designer of this integration between Fishbowl and Starship. So we appreciate having Vardan on the call. And as he mentioned, he's also available as a leading Fishbowl consultant and developer to help you guys with any software development that may uh, include Fishbowl, if you, go, um, if you are an existing Fishbowl customer or you're looking to add on Fishbowl, EBS and Terabyte work very well together. So just keep that in mind. Um, Terabyte is available for any extra work you need when it comes to integration with Fishbowl, whether it's CRM or Starship, along with business intelligence, dashboard reporting, and so on. And then we will be following up with you from the Starship side. Um, some of you have expressed interest in upgrading Starship. Um, or upgrading to Starship, or you might be interested in adding the U.S. Postal Service. So um, we will be reaching out to all of you who have expressed interest today. And again, I just wanted to thank you all for your time. And Adrian, if there aren't any questions, we'll just go ahead and stay on the line and uh, wait a few more minutes, and then um, look out to hear from us in the next day or so with an email, and, and we'll be calling and reaching out uh, to those of you who have expressed interest. Thank you so much, and if um, any of the presenters have anything to add, this would be the time to um, close out with any further comments. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks, everyone. Okay, thank you, and um, have a great day. Thank you.